Hello everyone, dear friends. Preparing for the New Year's holidays, I decided to go to the Moldovan hypermarket and look for something unusual, interesting, to decorate the New Year's table. In general, I went to the department where different spoons, forks, craters and so on are sold and found one interesting thing. And the most interesting thing that it was sold for 119 Moldovan lei. And on New Year's discounts, it was sold for only 109 lei. I immediately thought this price was too high, because by converting Moldovan lei into dollars, we get about 5-6 dollars for such an incomprehensible thing. In general, with help of it, you can rub fruits or vegetables with drawers and thereby decorate some sandwiches or plates with some dishes. So, after little thought, I decided to buy this grater in order to actually show you. But almost at the checkout, I would rather die than pay. I gave it back, filmed it, and later found the same thing on the Internet. In general, here's how you can observe what it looks like. Later, I began to look for some solutions from what it can be made. And the first thing that came to mind was to take a piece of shit, cut it, drill a hole. But we are still talking about food, so we need preferably food-grade stainless steel. Food stainless steel, personally, I could not find anywhere in such a shit version. And when I was looking and still thinking about what can be done, I came to an amazing option. So I will not create any more intrigues, and I hope at least one of you has already guessed what it can be made of. You can make it from an ordinary stainless fork. So let's get to work. I hope we can do a lot better than that. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to cut off these teeth from the fork. So we do the marks. We clamp it in a vise and cut it off. Now on the sandpaper, round off all the irregularities. We take a drill bit for 3 mm. Moving from the edge, we make marks every 3-4 mm. It turns out that this stainless steel fork is not so easy to drill, so unfortunately, the first two attempts failed. And so this blank was shortened and only four holes were drilled, not five, because the cut straws would have turned out too thin. Now we need to tighten this workpiece in a vise, and with the help of a file, round everything well and sharpen it. Итак, 
So guys, here's what we got. Now let's do a little test to see if it is worth sharpening a little more or if it is enough. That's what we got. This is literally the same result that we would get from a purchased grader for $6. I do not see the point in buying such a grader, but you can decide whether to make it with your own hands or not. It seems to me that the same result can be achieved with an ordinary grader for making Korean carrots. If, of course, there is one. But if not, then from a simple fork, voila, in half an hour, you can make a completely suitable manual mini grader for making such ornaments or for Korean carrots. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for your attention. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.